Welcome inside the Lehigh Arena in Wellington. The Dukes back from a three-game road trip, and they will take on a team that has given them some trouble this season, the Lindsay Muskies in town on a Friday night. Welcome to the OJHL tonight on your TV, presented by the cooperators, David Foote and Alex Mahar. Lindsay Heron is downstairs. We Tyson Gilmore out from behind the net, makes a nice move in the slot of his own zone, carries it right up the middle and tries to make the same move around a defender, got shut down, and now the puck on the far side wall. Duke's able to walk it into the slot, and the red light is on, they score. Look from our angle like Curran might have made the save, but in and out it comes, and Dukes are on the board with the player of the month, Andrew Rinaldi. Yeah, it looks like Curran made the original save on Panetta there, but Andrew Rinaldi going to the net hard, creating that nice two-on-one play down low, and all of a sudden Rinaldi just jumps on that loose puck and he scores, and good, uh, good job by him by going to the net and grabbing that loose puck there. Good big matchup coming up. The Toronto Maple Leafs alumni will play the Wellington Dukes alumni on Saturday, December 1st here at Lehigh Arena. Wendell Clark will be here. Doug Gilmore will be here. Uh, among uh, many other Toronto Maple Leafs legends. $20 for uh, adults, seniors and youth just 15 bucks, and then kids get in for 10 bucks. Uh, that's advanced tickets and the uh, ticket rates at the door you can see there as well. Played across and Frank Vitucci's got a lane here on the right wing side. Vitucci to the circle with a shot and scores! Curran got a piece of it. Vitucci just strong enough to get it by the young Lindsay netminder and make it 2 0 Dukes. And that's one Curran's going to want back is Vitucci coming down the wing, showing off a lot of speed going to the outside, as you can see on your screen here. And he's really just shooting that for a rebound. It catches a lot of Curran and just pops up over his arm, and it's going to be 2 0 Dukes on that goal by Vitucci, his ninth of the season. Uh, thanks for taking some time for us here. Oh, no worries. Uh, a few things that we want to talk about. Um, Notably, or I suppose first of all, uh, we showed the graphic uh, during the period, but December 1st, big event uh, coming up here. You've got some of the Toronto Maple Leafs alumni uh, coming back to take on some uh, big name Wellington Dukes as well that some fans will remember. Yeah, I know. It's, it's going to be an exciting event. It was something we wanted to do for the last couple of years, and, and it finally came together. We were able to get uh, MLSE on board, and um, so they're bringing a great team down. They're bringing Wendell Clark, obviously, and, and Doug Gilmore has agreed to come, and the tie-in with having Tyson here playing for us, and Tyson's brother's going to play, so they're going all three of them are going to play in a line together against our alumni, which is exciting. So yeah. we're going to call it a helicopter line. They have no centermen, <laughs> but no, no, they're all, no wingers, I should say. But yeah. but they, um, the whole problem that we have right now is that you know we're we've got a whole bunch of opportunity to use our team and use the, uh, this facility, right. and it's a good problem. So we're trying to create events like this to make it you know helps the team, it helps get the name out there, and I think this is a great event for us. And not much doing on that. To Rush there for the Muskies. They'll bring it in now. And again, the uh, body's flying as Lindsay get a backdoor try, and they score. The Muskies will get on the board early in the second period, and as they try to battle back in the hockey game, that is a big, big goal for them to get early in the frame. That's huge, David. And just their third shot of the game, they're able to beat Ole Lafreniere as that one just trickles in, and that's huge now that they can kind of cut that lead in half and work downhill towards the second half of this period. They don't have to get back two. Now they just need one. Wellington trying to get to it off the draw. Messi turns and fires and scores. Everybody was a little tied up off the faceoff, and Dylan Massey pounced on the puck, and he manages to rip it home for his sixth of the season. And that's Dylan Massey's sixth goal of the season and a great playoff, the face-off, to really take that puck out of the draw and make a nice power move through the slot and then a great finish. As Dylan Massey shows off a great skill set, he's had a very strong game to this point and that's going to give the Dukes that two-goal lead back. To keeping it in. Down in the corner for King, centered out in front. Dukes keep it out of danger and that'll be it. Ole Lafreniere makes 25 saves, and the Dukes score four against the Lindsay Muskies. The widest gap between these two teams of the season. Dukes will leave in the season series at two games each, and they pick up a crucial fourth straight win.